A very good Wednesday morning to you. It's the Fixed Wing Guy channel and my name is Stuart Lomas. Um, firstly, wow, uh, what can I say? Um, I was contacted unexpectedly yesterday uh, via email from Simon Crane. Um, expecting to be completely lambasted by Simon um, but he was very kind and um, he understands my point of view what I was saying about him and I'm glad he took it uh, in the manner uh, in which it was meant uh, he has done a reply video to me um, thank you Simon um, I I didn't kind of start off uh, this channel um, as you kind of described it, which was uh, somebody who did critiques on this little watch community that we all see with yourself, Simon, Andy, Archie, Don, Matt, and so on and so forth. Um, but it, I know it does seem over the last couple of days that it's kind of gone that way. Um, but it will not remain that way. But if you guys come up with something interesting or controversial, um, I'm, I'll make a video. Uh, I'm not here as the uh, watchtower of the public good, uh, so please don't think that because I certainly don't view things my way. Um, and the wow at the beginning of the video really was, um, it's amazing um, what influence somebody uh, who has a channel on YouTube, um, who does a little bit of a uh, promo good bad or indifferent about somebody else's channel um, that the difference that can make and I've woken up this morning signed in and I've got 22 subscribers bugger me um, who knew again who knew um, I was surprised to get one never mind um, thank you very much Simon uh, obviously it's got a lot to do with yourself um, I will do a video thanking everybody who subscribed recently uh, none of the names have come up as yet uh, if anybody knows how to get the names to appear quicker uh, drop me a link down below Anyway, uh, only a quick video this morning. Um, I will do another one later on. Anyway, this is it. There she is. There she is. There she is. <laughs> um, I'm going to see um, my friendly local jeweller today because, uh, as I said yesterday, it's a bit tight. Uh, um, I've got a, an 8 inch wrist, uh, a little bit bigger than the normal. Um, so whilst I'm having him putting in, because uh, uh, Omega as a standard supply a free full link and a free half link. Um, now, I do have both, which again does make me believe, can you get that? Which does make me believe this is a bona fide watch. But I'm not going to get too excited yet. I sincerely hope it is. And the feeling that I got, because sometimes you've got to go by your gut from the seller that he was a bona fide seller. And it is indeed a bona fide watch. But whilst I'm in my local jeweller and he's putting the new strap on for me, I'll ask him to take the back off so I can have a mooch around in there. Now, this is kind of what I'm hoping to see. I'll try my hardest to get a picture of this for you. And da, 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 da. you see that? The Omega 1120 movement. It's a obviously the the pre coaxial movement, um, but I don't care. Um, it is the original uh, Bond watch. I will do a few few review, uh, a full review on it. Uh, still a bit too. Uh, overexcited about actually getting one after all this time. I promise I will do a full review. Uh, once it fits my wrist, I'll wear it for a couple of days, see how we go with it, see how uh, how well it keeps time. I have taken some time um, buffing it up myself. Uh, I spent a good hour yesterday cleaning the inside and the outside of the bracelet and also cleaning the clasp. And there was a little mark just there yesterday when I unboxed it it is now gone it is amazing what a little bit of abrasive paste will do and I know a lot of people out there advise um, scotch pads and I agree totally didn't have one so a little bit of abr uh, ab abrasive paste um, did the job just absolutely well the crystal has come up absolutely beautifully if that's not been replaced at some point in this watch's life 
somebody has loved this. And I know the previous owner, from what he said, loved it. Anyway, so that's where we are today. Um, off to my local jeweller. I'll get the back taken off. I'll have a mooch. I will let you know if I've been ripped off right royally and there's some form of 21 jewel um, Chinese movement in there, like a seagull or whatever. I will let you know. I will hold my hands up and say what a burk I've been. And I will be immediately on the phone to PayPal to get some money back if the seller refuses but deep down I don't see it you know I don't see it but that's it for today thank you Simon um, thank you for supplying your telephone number I am sure we will chat you have now my number as well um, it will be great to talk watches uh, as requested by yourself and as promised by me I will I will do a review on the Rolex. Um, so for now, that's it. Thank you very much to all my original subscribers. Thank you very, very much to the uh, miraculous appearance of all the others. It is uh, most appreciated, um, most unexpected. Uh, if you have any queries or questions, as always, down below. If you have any comments, down below. If there's anything that's going on anywhere that you want me to put my little twist on, then down below. And if you're watching this nonsense and you haven't done so before, please enjoy it. Have a look at the other videos and uh, subscribe. So, for now, until later on possibly, I may even take my wife for some breakfast. How good am I? The mood, the good mood that a nice watch puts you in. It's amazing. It's amazing. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll speak to you again soon. Bye-bye.